Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Pandas Global. In this particular video of MS Word course, I'm going to teach you how to add different watermarks on different pages of your MS Word document. In one of our MS Word course video, I've already taught you that how to add a watermark in your MS Word document. But in this particular video, I'm going to use different watermarks for different pages on the same document. So let's get into our video and learn about this. <music> So guys, as you can see, right now I'm in my MS Word software and this is the document. Uh, I have 17 pages in this particular document, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply uh, different, different watermarks in different, different pages. Let's say I'm using first five pages for a different kind of watermark and then the second five pages or second four pages for different kind of watermark then another five pages for any different kind of design or different kind of uh, text watermark right so i'm gonna do like this so let's start with first adding a watermark and for that we have to go to insert tab and insert tab you will be able to oops not on insert tab sorry for that uh, yes you have to go to design tab not on insert tab you have to go to the design tab and in design tab you'll be able to see this watermark option so click on this as i've already shown you this uh, particular option in our previous videos now what you can do is you can choose any of these designs if you want otherwise you can go with your custom watermark as well right for that you have to click on custom watermark and here you can use your uh, picture or if you want text watermark so let's go with text mark watermark this time so I'm gonna apply system generated watermark as you can see and it is not visible though so let me do one thing let me go to custom watermark and change the color of this right right now it is on uh, text watermark because this is the text watermark and let me change the color of this watermark to red so that you can see it properly right now it's visible the watermark says do not copy and every page has a watermark right so there's 17 pages this in this document and every page has the same watermark and there is no option to use different watermark from here so what we have to do is we have to do a page break not exactly page break you have to go to page break option and you have to do section break so how we can do this first let's go to the layout option and in layout option you'll be able to see this breaks option when you click here this is the section break option we are going to choose right these are the page break options then these are the section break options right so i'm going to choose this one so first we have to select the content which we want to break right so i'm going to use same watermark for the first five pages so one two three four and five now i have to apply section break from this page because i want to break the section from here so that i can apply different watermark from this page right so i just have to sell uh put my cursor over the first word basically starting of the page and i have to go to breaks and click next page so it's done now now let's go to the next five pages so this one is one two three four and five so technically i have to choose this one but let's go with the 10th page itself right so uh in the second section i'm just choosing four pages and the third section will be from here so i'm going to apply a section break from here as well right so now i have created three sections the first section is first five pages of the document right then the second page is the four pages of the document six seven eight and nine right and then the third section is from 10th to 17th so i have created three sections now what i have to do is let me just resize a bit so that i i can show you multiple pages over here right this one is okay or maybe just let me increase the size of it a little bit more yeah now it's fine so i have done the uh, section break now what i have to do is i have to break the link 
as well because if you are not breaking the link because all these pages are still link and if you don't break the link you will be not able to uh, change the watermark basically you will be not able to add different watermarks so how you can break the link so for that you have to double click on this uh, header section of any page of the document so just double click and you will be able to see that there is a section one written over here so uh, as i've already told you that uh, i'm selecting five pages in section one as you can see the section one section one section one is written over here and till the five page section one is written over here and from here section two is starting till page nine right so this is the sixth page then seventh eighth and ninth right so this one is section two now the section three will start right as you can see here now what i have to do is i have to uh, basically break the link so how i can do that i have to go to the second section because first section is already separated basically what i have to do is i have to separate the section first section from second section right so you have to click on this same as previous right because if you don't break this uh, rule it will take the formatting same as previous section or previous document right so you just have to click on same as previous and click on this link to previous option and uncheck this right now as you can see same as previous option is gone from second section right and same you have to do in the third section as well right this is the third section again click here and just uncheck the box right so the third section is also unlinked now you can apply different watermarks on different pages basically on different sections so the first section is i'm gonna leave it like this do not copy right now let's go to the direct uh second section which is this so you just have to double click let me again double click on the header section and when you click on the header, header section this watermark will be highlighted basically a bit more darker now you have to click on the watermark as you can see like this and when you click on the watermark this word art option will appear in front of you you have to click here now you have to go to edit text now you can edit the text right now it is on do not copy so you can write whatever you want let me write marketing pandas right? and hit the ok button and as you can see the second section has been changed into marketing pandas like this right now i'm going to apply different watermark on third section so what i have to do is i have to select it as you can see the watermark has been selected now again go to edit text now change this into let's say i'm going to write ms word course and hit okay right so ms word course what written watermark has been applied till the 17th page because i haven't break the section over here right so from 10th to 17th the watermark is same right now as you can see i have applied different watermarks in different pages right so the first five is do not copy then marketing pandas then ms word course so that's how you can apply different watermarks on your document ms word document i hope you learned from this video and if you are still confused you can go through this video once again and if there's still any confusion or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself also don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button also don't forget to share this video or the whole course with your needy friends who want to learn ms word or any other ms uh, office software like powerpoint and excel right with that said i'll be meeting you in the next video till then bye bye